Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Rockin' here and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video I'm going to be releasing my After Effects Transitions Pack. A lot of people have been asking for this. I've just included a few of my most used transitions, which I use for, for the majority of my Valorant edits and montages. I will be making a tutorial within the next week or so teaching you how to create similar transitions like this from scratch. But these presets are a massive time saver. So in this video I'm going to show you how to download the pack and also how to use them. So to start off with downloading it, you're going to want to go down to the link in my description which will take you to this page. You'll see Rockland's AE Transitions Pack, it's only 1.7 megabytes and you're just going to hit download. It's going to download quickly, see it's completed and that will be in my downloads folder as you can see. So now what you're going to want to do is open it up using either WinRAR or 7-Zip, I'll leave links for both of them in the description, they're both free. And you're just going to drag and drop the folder in there out. Now you can put this folder wherever you like, I'm just going to leave mine in my downloads as I already have a copy on my desktop, but just put this somewhere where you can find it relatively easily. And then all you're going to want to do is open it up. As you can see we've got the sound effects, don't touch any of these, they need to be left in this in this folder to work with the presets. If you want to disable the sound effects I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but just don't touch that. And inside the readme you'll see what the, what's in the pack as well as written instructions if you get stuck. Now to use the transition presets, all you've got to do is load up After Effects, go to the project that you're currently working on. So for me, I've just created a new one. This will probably be your edit or montage. And you just want to drag in your clips if you don't have any already. I'm going to drag it straight onto my timeline and scale it so that it fits my composition, which is 1920 by 1080. And there you go, you can see it now fits. And I'm going to go to a place where I want the cut to be. So I'm going to say I want the cut to be here. Control Shift D to split it. Go to the point where I want it to cut to, which will be here, for example. I'll press Control Shift D to split that. And I'm just going to put these two layers so that they're one above each other, just like this, without a gap in between. Of course, you can use the same clip like I just did, or you can have two completely separate clips. It doesn't really make a difference. And then to use the transition presets, all you're going to want to do is drag in the pack that you downloaded. That's the After Effects project file. Just drag it straight into your project bin, and you'll see it'll import like this. You'll have the folder, hit the arrow, and you'll see in here you've got glitch transitions, rotation transitions, swipe transitions, and zoom transitions. There's two folders which you shouldn't touch which is the folder with all the adjustment layers in and also the folder with the sound effects just leave them as they are and don't touch any of them otherwise you might mess up some of the transitions and then to use them all you're going to want to do is just navigate into the folder of the transition that you want so for example you can see we've got glitch rotate swipe and zoom transitions so if i want to use a swipe right for example i'm just going to drag it onto my composition above the two clips where i'm making the split like this and i'm going to put it so that this marker that says split is directly above where the cut between the two clips is now what i'm going to do is come over to the left where you see the swipe right composition or whichever transition you're using and I'm going to click this which will collapse the transformation and what that's going to do is apply what the adjustment layers in this composition are doing to the clips below it so as you can see if I look through this if I go through you can see it is the, the swipe right transition so I'll play that for you quickly and if you want to disable the sound effects, we're going to do is come over here to where this mute button is, just click it and that will turn off the audio and then you won't be able to hear the sound effects if you want to add your own or just don't want any. And if you want to change the length of the transition, all you're going to do is click it, right click it, then go up to time, time stretch, and you can adjust the length of the transition. So, so if I want to make it twice as long, I can just bump it up to 200. As you can see, it's now going to extend. I'll just drag the split back and then if we play this through, you can see the transition lasts twice as long. The same method of applying them works exactly the same for all the transitions, whether they're zooms, whether they're splits, whether they're glitches, they'll all have the little split marker on which you just got to line up. Make sure that you collapse transformations and you'll be good to go. As you can see, this has now got the zoom transition applied. And that's pretty much it. If you need any help, let me know in the comment section. DM me on Twitter, DM me on Instagram. I'll be glad to help you out. If you're interested in learning how to make any of the edits or montages that I make, make sure you check out my tutorials playlist as well as watch my edits or montages if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next video.